Ah, oh, good evening, humans. Tonight, I'm very pleased to bring you a special Devil's Night edition of Metal Mascots. It's Jack-O-Lantern. Oh, but wait, what's this? The dead has risen! Can it be? It might be! That's right. Two mascots. Let's go. Okay, so I'm down here in hell for this greatest of holidays, and I thought, what a perfect place to talk about Halloween. One of the most influential European metal acts of the 1980s, they helped forge power metal itself and remain one of the biggest bands in the genre today. Upon setting forth on their journey all those years ago, the band created a classic bit of heavy metal imagery with their logo, replacing the O lettering with a jack-o'-lantern. Their first release featured a monstrous creature symbolically bursting forth from the head of his first form, Pumpkinhead. The creature would return on the cover of their debut full-length release, Walls of Jericho. The 80s were a good time for metal mascots, and Halloween just kept adding to the roster. The second record from the band, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 1, was the true dawn of early power metal, and instead of the familiar creature on the cover that the band had been using, a new character in the Halloween verse was front and center. The follow-up, Keeper of the Seven Keys Part 2 is considered one of the great power metal records of all time, with the Keeper handing a golden key to a creature I assume is the Squash Goblin himself. As close a mascot handshake as we'll probably ever get. Jack, you son of a bitch. And on a side note, these covers would have made great TurboGrafx-16 game art. Conflict within the band continued around the direction they were headed musically, and led to the departure of some of the founding members. And as the 1990s hit, the band went full German. And look, nobody loves a Storm Thorgerson album cover more than this undead demon. The guy was a legend. It's just that the next few Halloween records were not it. And the phase would pass after they left EMI for a smaller label. The Master of the Rings was a step in the right direction. The album cover, though fairly simple in its design, was thematically connected to the Keeper storyline, and even appeared in the hood of the Keeper on the next record. The Time of the Oath which was both a strong album and concept, was based on the prophecies of Nostradamus. The follow-up was another solid record. And mascots aside, things were starting to heat up on the covers. Better Than Raw, a fun graphic cover design based on the Smurfs, that's right, the Smurfs, introduced another new Halloween character in The Witch. Halloween would bounce between these characters and mascots on the covers for the next 20 years with the image of both the jack-o'-lantern and keeper of the seven keys remaining instantly recognizable characters synonymous with the band. Some of the singles and compilations are great in their own ways. Looking back at the approach to the art that they so often took, it doesn't surprise me at all that they wanted to make their own comic books and action figures. In 2021, the Pumpkins would reunite some of their former members to create a super lineup and unveil what is unquestionably their best album cover artwork to date. The reception from fans and critics alike has been positive, proving that letting go of the past and moving on can lead to new heights. I'm much more of the Hellfire and Vengeance type, so I have a hard time with that approach, but I hear it works. The artwork, painted by genius Eliron Cantor, is much like the reunion of former personnel, and draws together characters and symbolism from the past covers like never before. And shout out to Charlie Bauerfeind, one of the greatest power metal producers to ever twist them knobs. The strength of the Keeper, and especially Jack-O-Lantern, lies not in just its familiarity in the minds of young people. Marrying that image with the name of the band is a concept so simple, it's nothing short of genius. Thanks for watching. There's an absolute shitload of great videos in the works down here, so stick around and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a thing.